How do I edit the footer for my Premium Press website? Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. In front of me, we have one of our Premium WordPress themes. This is the online dating theme. And if I scroll to the bottom of the page, you can see this black footer element here. So how do I edit this? Well, let me show you how. First thing we do is log into the admin area. Okay, we click on Premium Press. And for me personally, I like to go through the site manager. So I can click on site manager here. Okay, I can scroll down and we can see what header design we've got and footer we've got here. Now, obviously, the footer is made up of different elements. Let's have a look. If I just quickly go back to the home page. Okay, so we have a design. So this is what we call a design. Basically, the, the layout here is the design. And we have what we call elements. So we have things like the logo, some description text, some menu items here, and a, navig um, a newsletter box here. So I'm going to concentrate on the design first, and then I'll show you how to modify the content in the, de in the actual design. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to modify the design. So I can click on um, the footer option here to modify the footer. I can select from multiple different footers we've got. And to get to this page from the actual overview again, I can just click on dashboard. I can click on premium press. Okay, I click on design. Um, from this page, I can click customize and I can click footer. So it's just two different ways to get to the same page. Now from this page, we have two options. You can select from one of our predefined layouts. So basically, we've done a couple of um, predefined footer options for you. Or you can use Elementor and then customize it yourself. So let's just show you a predefined one. Let's try this red one because it's obvious that we've set it. Okay, let's go ahead and preview the home page now. We've, we've changed the design. Okay, as you can see, the footer element has updated based on our design. Now, if I wanted to customize this or modify it again, I can click on element and do that. There is another button, what we call settings. So I'll just quickly show you this while we're here. The first option is the settings and all of the content in the footer can be modified using this section here. So things like footer text, so if I just add some text, okay, go ahead and save the changes. Okay, give the page a refresh. Okay, scroll down and you can see obviously the footer text here is changed. Now we have what we call default links here. These are what you call menu items. Again, under settings, there is an option to choose your menu here. So you can add the title. So I'll just do title one. Okay, let's just do title two. Again, save my changes. And just like magic, the actual titles are going to change. Okay, title one, title two. So it really is that simple. You're just basically changing the content to match your website. The links here, let me show you again under settings. The links, we have a button called manage um, manage menus. And all of these menu items here are part of the, of the menu system within WordPress. So let's go ahead and add a new menu. So let's go ahead and add new. Okay, we'll call it footer one. Okay, click create menu. Okay, you don't need to assign this because we're going to be assigning it manually. Okay, we'll click on uh, view pages. Let's just give it a few page links. So let's just give it three. Okay, as always in um, the navigation options within WordPress, I can drag them around, etc. But make sure you notice in the footer, there's no sub menu. So make sure you just keep it all in one, um, in one level. Don't put two levels or three levels. Okay, so that's footer one. Again, I'm going to go premium press. Okay, design. Okay, I'm going to select the footer, click on my settings, and now where it says to select the menu, I'm just going to click footer one. Okay, that simple. Save settings. Give it a refresh. Scroll down, and as you can see, the menu items I've just set a minute ago are now visible. So that's how I would change the menu options and some of the settings within the actual footer. Now let's get back to the design. Okay, same concept. This time I'm going to edit it with Elementor. So I click Elementor. Okay, and this option is available because I've installed Elementor. So let me just remind you of that. Click um, footer again. You've got this button here because I already have Elementor activated. Now it's worth noting our themes do not require a pro version. You can use this free version for all of our themes. In fact, we do not have any pro elements within our theme. So all you ever need to use with Premium Themes is the free version of Elementor. So once you've installed and activated that, just click on Elementor and then click on edit and it'll load this design that you've got currently loaded. So where is the footer? Let's go. Okay, it'll load it in anyway. It'll load what you had a minute ago into Elementor and give you more freedom to modify it. So there we go. That's the design we've got. And now from this page, I have a Swiss Army knife or footer elements to, to modify. So for example, I can change colors. Okay, I can just whip it in. This is the tiny little box at the top. This is what we call a footer top. 
Fettle middle is this section here. Again, I have lots of options, so let's give it a, a weird color just so you can see. Okay, that's the background for this one and the footer bottom, which is obviously the copyright section at the bottom. So I'm doing this simply to show you that you can modify each and L each part of the footer um, one by one. Now there are lots of options again within each. You can change and turn off certain options like the logos, etc. Change the text that's actually visible in this box. Okay. Layer options again here. These are for padding, etc. for the actual options. So choose your design. Okay. Customize it in Elementor and then it'll be displayed on your website. If I give it an update, go to my website, refresh the page. Scroll to the bottom, and now I have this very sexy looking footer on my actual website. Now, obviously, this isn't what I would normally be doing, but you know, it just gives you a preview. Now, again, if I make a mistake like what I'm doing now, I decide, oh, this footer is not really what I want. Let's go back to the default. All you've got to do is go back to the admin area. Okay, as again, click design, customize, and footer. And where you've already set your design, we just simply set it back to the default design. So set this to the default, click save changes. And now you'll have all of the options to customize it using the default layer options. If you go back to your website and give it a refresh, you'll see that the design has been reset back to the default footer. So there we go, a very quick tutorial on how to edit the footer for your website. You can do it in the admin area under the site manager, or you can use the design tools under design edit footer. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll keep creating content just like this one. Maybe in the next video, I'll make it a little bit slower. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.